Yo guys, welcome back to another daily upload on my channel. So today I'm gonna be showing you how to get closer to zero ping in Fortnite Chapter 3 Season 2. After doing these tweaks, you should all notice a better ping regardless of what router you have. So if you enjoyed this kind of content, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. And with that said, let's get straight into it. Especially with this new season, so many people have been experiencing hyping, so to fix this I'm gonna show you how to clean any cache related to your DNS. What you guys need to do in the first place is go to the description of this video where I'm gonna put all of these commands and then just open your CMD as an administrator, else you don't have any administration rights to do this on your PC. Now we wanna copy all these commands into the CMD, so first we're gonna start with the ipconfig flush DNS. Just copy it and then press Ctrl and V in the CMD and as you can see it will get pasted, then just press enter. As you can see it successfully flushed the DNS resolver cache. For the second one, again just copy it, Ctrl V, enter. And now we're going to do some extra steps to make sure that it's working right. The third command, I again just copy and paste it. Then for the fourth one, I won't do it now because you know it will show my IP, but just copy and paste those three. This is the last one, this is to basically reset your DNS. And then when you're done with that, just restart your PC and come back for the next step. So now we're going to do the most important step that is gonna make the biggest improvements on your ping. This will be with the TCP optimizer, so to get this program just go to my Discord. Verify on this channel, just press on this, then you're going to see all the channels. Scroll to this category, it's called video related, and click on the TCP optimizer. Just click on the download and just drag it to your desktop, I already have done it. So when you have this, just right click, open as administrator again, wait until it loads. And then make sure you copy everything that I have. So first it will be on current press on custom so you can edit it I have already done everything for me so just copy first thing you need to make sure that this is the adapter you are using right now so this is my Wi-Fi adapter I'm using my LAN adapter so this is the one press on it make sure that the speed is on maximum even if you have for example 100 megabits of internet make sure it's on the max MTU make sure it's on 1500 and modify all network adapters should be checked and don't modify network adapter should be unchecked then we go to the important settings tcp window auto tuning on normal window scaling heuristics disabled congestion control provider this is very important ctcp receive side scaling enabled air point segment Coalescing enabled, ECN capability disabled, checksum offload enabled, TCP chimney offload disabled, and watch send offload enabled. After you've done that, just go to advanced settings. This is also a very important page, you shouldn't forget it. So let's just go through the settings again. Max connections 10, on the one under it also 10, then local priority 4 host 5 dns 6 and net 7 this is very very important max cin retransmissions 2 non suck rtt resiliency disabled then intel rto 2000 and minimum rto on 300 i'd say this is the most important of all of them qos do not use nla optimal one and network throttling index, make sure this is on disabled with 6 Fs for the least amount of ping. Then system responsiveness, make sure it's on gaming, this is very very important. Because as you can see the other ones are just optimal, default and high. This is just too high MS, just make sure it's on gaming as it says. Then for the next one, uh, TCP, disabled 1, TCP no delay, enabled 1, TCP, Dell disabled on zero and then for the last two default zero and default one after you've done that just press on apply and again just restart your pc then i'm gonna show you the third step which is also very important so yeah so guys for this third step again all you need to do is just go to my discord 
very fun the channel and you'll see DNS jumper this is the name of the program just install it and drag it into your desktop as you can see when you've done that just double click on it and you'll see this program pops up what this program does is it finds the best DNS for the place where you live so you can have the least amount of ping in games here just select your adapter then go to the fastest DNS click on it and then here you'll see more DNS servers I've just already done it and it doesn't show for me just press on start DNS test then it will search for you and it will find the best DNS server with the least amount of milliseconds as you can see for me it's this one and then you can just press on apply DNS but it's already applied for me when you've done that just apply DNS and then I'm going to show the last step so for this last step you just go to your windows start button here type windows security until you see this press on it then press on virus threat protection press on manage settings scroll down and you'll see exclusions microsoft defender antivirus won't scan items that have been excluded so this basically means of course fortnite won't have any viruses and the packets will go faster to your fortnite without getting scanned and this will fix your packet loss and might give you better ping so to try this out for you, press on add or remove exclusions, press add exclusion, file, then here just type fortnite and you see here fortnite client win64 shipping, you need to look for this file and then just press on it, open and as you can see here it says it. So definitely try the setting out. I've seen people this worked very good for them. So you need to just try it out to see if it works for you. So this is an extra tip for all the people that stay until the end of the video. The tip that I'm gonna give you is close as much programs that are taking Wi-Fi in the background as possible. So for example, let's say you have Google opened. Let's say for example, you have like 10 tabs maybe. You know, this is taking your Wi-Fi and also your RAM space. Close as much of them as you can, you know, for example, Discord and many just other programs that are taking Wi-Fi. Close them so the main bandwidth can go to your Fortnite and with that you have less ping, trust me. And with that said, we are pretty much done here. And yeah guys, this is it for today's video. If it helped you in any way, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. And if you have any questions, make sure to leave them down in the comments below. I'll make sure to help you out. And with that said, see you on the next one. Just let me pack up your past. I got your diamonds and chains. I'm running out with the ride. Yeah, I'm number one. Ain't nobody can match. Pull up and have some fun. I'll make you leave in a snap.